you. Be 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 you. over how to make one of my favorite recipes, spinach balls. Not only is this a healthy recipe, but it's super fun to make, especially if you have kids at home. The only tools you'll need are a bowl and a spoon, measuring spoons, and a baking sheet. Make sure your oven is preheated to 350 degrees. Go ahead and grease the baking sheet with a bit of olive oil so you don't have to worry about doing it later. I'm working with frozen spinach, so I've already gone ahead and cooked it in the microwave. Spinach is high in vitamins, minerals, protein, and fiber, and is low in fat and cholesterol. In other words, it's great for every part of your body. Then go ahead and crush the saltine crackers, but make sure you wash your hands first. We're using whole wheat saltines because they have more fiber than the regular ones, which is going to be good for our digestive systems keep us feeling full longer, and lower our risk of chronic disease. If you're doing this with kids, they'll love getting to help out and get their hands messy. In the bowl, you're going to mix the spinach, crackers, Parmesan cheese, eggs, olive oil, and garlic. Parmesan cheese is lower in fat than a lot of other cheeses, but don't overdo it. It's also high in calories and fat and should be seen as an every once in a while food. From there, you'll form the mixture into heaping tablespoon sized balls and put them onto the baking sheet. Bake them for 10 to 15 minutes or until they're a light brown color. That's it. Serve them and enjoy. Just be sure to wash your hands before eating. tuning in to this video. I just want to bring you a couple of drills that's going to help you to better your performance on the court. The first drill that we're going to do is called the lateral quickness drill. Now lateral quickness is how fast you can move from side to side. This is very important when playing defense and you're guarding the person who has the ball. Maybe they're a good ball handler or they can dribble really well. So lateral quickness is going to help you to stay in front of them whether they try to go left or right it's gonna allow you to move faster side to side and cut them off whichever direction they try to go. So with this first drill, what you wanna do is you wanna set anything that you have at home available to you in a square. Doesn't matter if it's water bottles, books, whatever you have available. Right now we have cones, so that's what we're using. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna set them up in a square and you're gonna run along the outside of the square. So first, you're gonna start at this bottom right corner and you're gonna sprint to the first top right corner. Once you get to this top right corner, you're gonna get your defensive stance. So what you wanna do is, you wanna keep your feet straight, you wanna bend your knees, you wanna put your hands out like you're guarding the defender because you don't want the defender to get past you. So you wanna be able to cut them off and steal the ball wherever he puts the ball in front of you. So you're gonna feet straight, bend your knees, you're gonna slide side to side to this top left corner, once you get to this top left corner, you're gonna back pedal. So when back pedaling, it's important to remember that you stay on your tippy toes. Doing on your tippy toes will allow you to not fall. That will hurt yourself or you might hurt others. So I'm gonna get in my stance, I'm on my tiptoes, I'm gonna back pedal back. Once you get to this bottom left corner, you're gonna slide right back to this bottom right corner and the drill is done. Now this next drill is going to help you offensively. It's gonna help you to score more efficiently when standing under the basket. This is what's called a layup drill. When doing a layup, you wanna be able to use both hands. It makes you harder to guard. And so with these layup drills, it's gonna help you to utilize both of your hands, your right hand, your left hand. So first I'm gonna start with my right hand because I'm on the right side of the goal. So I'm gonna do Three layups, you wanna keep it consistent with your right hand and left hand. So I'm gonna do three layups on my right hand, three layups on my left hand. So first what you wanna do is you wanna keep the ball in your right hand, because I'm on the right side of the rim. I'm 
gonna take my left hand, I'm gonna place it behind my back, I'm gonna shoot my three legs. That's your right hand. Now I'm gonna to move to this left side of the ring. Again, I'm on the left side, so I wanna use my left hand. So the ball's in my left hand, I'm gonna take my right hand, I'm gonna place my right hand behind my back, we're gonna do three layups on the left side. Okay, if you miss, this is what practice is for. And that's how you do the layup. So this next drill, this final and last drill we're gonna do, is called the free throw drill. Free throws are very important, whether you're going to be a professional basketball player or this is your first time playing basketball or you already play basketball, it's important to know how to shoot free throws. Free throws can be the breaking point between winning a game and losing the game. But I want to also mention that it's important that when you get to the free throw line, you are as comfortable as possible. So do not change your jumper. Use the same jump shot that you use. Take your time, breathe, and make sure that you feel comfortable when at this free throw line. So I'm gonna show you the type of steps that you can take to make sure that you hit your free throws. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed all those virtual activities this week. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Metro Parks Nashville. And like us on Facebook at Metro Parks and Recreation. See you.